Guys, what have I got myself into? Obviously, my slime chunk slash spawner whatever is working. There were like four large slimes here when I got here. And how many slime balls do I have? I really need to light this place up. And probably raise this roof. 40 slime balls. I had zero with me when I came down here. And now I have 40. Eight. Oh, must have found that bow. So, I guess last episode, I made a... Uh, as you can see, I'm level 16 right now. Last episode, I made my mob trap, XP grinder, whatever you want to call it. And I have kind of been standing outside of it, like boosting. Not really. If I really... I did it for a couple minutes, but I got a little bored. So, yeah, I'm level 16. I don't think I'm a high enough level to get Fortune 3, so... I'm going to wait on that. I'll show you. Hopefully there will be some uh, some monsters there we can go and kill. Get some more XP. I'll have to check what uh, level I don't know. What level I have to be to get my uh, Fortune 3 enchantment. So I think this episode... Whoops, what am I doing? I think this episode I'm going to make my, uh, my, uh, enchantment room. Let's see. I'll have to prepare it first. Hold on, hold on. I'm not cheating, don't worry. Just want to see how much XP or what level I have to be. Hmm, Fortune 3. 29. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little ways away from that. See, I deleted it. Don't worry. Get rid of that for now. That full stack of 64 slime balls. So, to be honest, I have no idea where I'm going to put this, uh, this, uh, enchantment room. I don't know why, but I, I kind of want to, like, put it behind this thing. Oh, no, nope. Ah. I hope I don't accidentally go into the nether while doing this. How much glowstone do I have? Yeah, I don't... Did I really only get that much glowstone? You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to the nether this episode. I'm changing my mind. Gosh, I need to put up signs. I, I don't know where anything is. Gunpowder, I think, was in this chest. Still don't know why I have a dog. I have never really used it for anything. Do I have any food? Iron, that's... I can't eat iron. Mm, bread. Some raw chicken. Let's put this in the furnace. Oh, my bad. Oh, I need to make a... Uh... See, what I do when I get a lot of, like, iron and gold, I make uh, uh, dispensers, and then I, like, put them on the wall. I make these iron ingots and gold into uh, blocks, and they're, like, renewable, so you can put a block into your crafting table, and it will give you back nine iron or gold. That's, that's really the only food I have. I I should fix that. Still nothing. Okay. Wait. I haven't used my farm in years. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've never used my farm. I really gotta upgrade this though. This is this is horrible. Have anything in here? Oh, I've got some good, a decent amount of wheat. I can make some bread. Okay. 
See, the thing is, bread is like an awful food source. It source source. It gives you like I think it gives you uh two and a half um like whatever you want to call them, chicken legs. Oh, didn't count that correctly. I'll take the bread with me, because I'm... Oh, I've got cooked chicken. Okay. I'm not worried about losing uh, some bread. Let's take some dirt from downstairs. This back. Put that back. And I've only got 25 arrows. Checking my mob spawner one more time, and there's nothing there. I am playing on normal. Yes, I am. So, one thing I really want to find is, uh, in the nether, I want to find... Wait. Dang it. Oh, well, don't worry. I didn't fall from a high height yet. Well, what I want to find is the fortress in the nether, because, gosh, I gotta remember I have an automatic door. Because when I, f I find a fortress, that means, I got it right this time, that means I can, let's put that in there, I can, uh, kill some blaze men and get some blaze powders and, oh crap, that's right. I hope they're still not still mad at me, because that didn't end too well. So as I was saying, I can make some... Wait, why did I bring dirt? What's it called? A brewing stand, yeah. Then I can make fire resistance potions to kill more blaze men and get more blaze rods and... Yeah, and just continue that till I have an infinite amount of blazer rods. So I don't want to spend too much time just gathering glowstone. I would just want to go explore. Ooh, don't fall in the lava. Bad. Especially because I, I haven't explored a ton here, but I really have not found that much glowstone here. Usually the nether has glowstone every like 15 feet, but no, not this time. Now it's all dark over here. There we go. Oh, no. They mad, bro. Um. Um. I'm not going over there. Yes, I am going over here. I don't want to fall down there because that would hurt my legs a lot. And I probably wouldn't be able to... Is he still coming over here? Oh, he fell. Ha! Huh. I wonder what happens to them when they fall in the lava because they don't get affected by fire and lava and stuff. I'm gonna head this way. Oh, you know what would be sweet? If you could make, uh, maps for the nether. What? Huh. Yeah, if you can make maps for the nether, I I guess it would be kind of difficult, because you're surrounded in bedrock. Yes, I have flown up there before. It's got a ceiling of bedrock. So, I guess if you made a map in the nether, it would just be, like, a black square. But if they got it to work so that it wasn't a black square, then I would really like that. Hey, 1.3 is coming out like, I don't know when it's coming out, but maybe it'll be in there. Maybe it won't. And hopefully it won't get lost in here. It's down here. Nothing important? Okay. That's a long ways up. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Oh, didn't mean to dig it that high. Ah, 
Ah, lag. What enchantment do I have in this? Oh, efficiency one. Oh, speaking of efficiency, like... Okay, well, where am I going? In my other world? Am I wasting my time? I think I am. Oh, well. In my other world? I, I don't know what was going across my mind, but... For some reason, I decided to, like... I just thought, Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Clear out an entire chunk. If you don't know what a chunk is, that's... I did waste my time. Like, the slime chunk, that, it's a giant 16 by 16 square. But I did it all the way from, like, the top of the world. And I'm working on going to bedrock. I'm pretty close. And so, because, like, I knew it was going to take me forever. So I got a diamond pickaxe, put on efficiency 5. Because I have this uh, better enchant enchanting mod, so I can choose the mods or not not the mods. So I can choose I can choose the enchantments I want on the the pickaxe. So I put on efficiency five and um what was that I'm breaking two or something like that. I don't know, but that thing it destroys dirt with one click. It Basically destroys stone with one click. It just destroyed everything like super fast. Oh my. Now, if I don't find a fortress or whatever you want to call it in this episode, I'm probably going to look for it while I'm not recording. Let's see. Oh, zoom. You may have heard me get a little louder because I'm out. Because I'm leaning in to my to my monitor because I don't know why, but apparently I think that makes stuff like seem closer when I do that. No. I mean, the monitor is closer, but nothing in the game is closer. Let's just travel in one direction for like an hour. Look at look at all the netherrack I already have. Ooh, this place looks nice and safe. No giant holes to fall down. No lava pits to fall in. So far no ghasts. I'm liking that. The ghasts are almost what screwed me. Well, no, I guess the pigmen were worse. No. Did I? Okay. I'm hearing things. I'm just getting a little paranoid. I thought I heard a ghast. I heard a ghast. That was a definitely a real hearing I heard. I, the, the, hear, the, the sound I heard of me hearing the sound. I don't know what I'm saying. The ghast is over there. Like, what, what are you doing? Oh, guess it's probably up there. Mm. Get my sword out. I should get my bow out. Just in case he decides to shoot a fireball at my face. That would hurt. Right. Um. Oh, oh, look, it says right there I'm in hell. Oh, how wonderful. I'm at the y-axis of 55. Holy crap. Hey, see, look at that. He's just chilling in the lava. No nothing's really happening to him. But once I, or if I ever find a fortress and I get my, oh, there's a gas. And I get my uh, fire resistant potion, potion, then I'll be able to do the same. I can almost guarantee you I'm gonna get lost in here. I I should start like timing myself because I have no idea how long. Whoa, that's weird. Because I I have no idea how long I have been recording. 
It's not near as bad as my, uh, as the last episode. That, I, I realized, or I didn't realize that I was playing for like an hour straight, and that was all recording. After speeding up all those parts, it was still like a half an hour long. So, hopefully, I'm not going to, like, go too long in this episode, because I don't, I don't want to render out another half an hour long video. Oh, come on, I lagged just as I clicked it. Come on, chunks, load. I want to see what's over there. I want to see what I can see. Isn't that a front song? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Oh dear. No, I, I was thinking about sprinting and jumping that, but that's not going to happen. No guests. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. If I fall on this, I, I am 100% screwed. I've got iron armor, which is not going to help me whatsoever, and I don't have fire resistant potion. Potion. Why do I always say potion? It's not a word. Hello? Okay. Okay. Look at that. Unloaded chunks. The what? Oh, now I get it. I am finding it. Hold on. If I change my render settings, then hopefully it won't like be trying to render chunks that are like a thousand blocks away. like this. Not one bit. I do not like this. I haven't even find found a what's it called? Uh, a magma cube? Yeah, a magma cube. I haven't found one of those. So I think for fire resistant potions I think you need uh, magma cubes. But then again if I ever find a uh, a blaze spawner then you can make magma cube or not you can make magma cream using blaze powder and blaze powder and slime balls and as you can see from what you saw at the beginning of this episode I have no shortage of slime balls. Um and in the other world, I was ta telling you about loading gravel. I I have like a few few full stacks of slime balls. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm heading back and I'm sprinting and I'm eating food and I'm going to stop recording if I ever make it back and then I will look for this fortress on my own free time because you don't you don't really want to watch me get lost in the nether I don't, I don't really want to watch me get lost in the nether I'm assuming I am going the right way I can assume wrong now I'm going the wrong way. Now I'm going the right way. This, I've got Feather Falling 3, but I still want to find a safer way to get down. Um, I'm trying to 
there. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wait. Am I lost? Hmm. Possibly. I might be lost. Might not be. Probably am. Aha! Safe maneuvering! I'll push this guy off the edge. Oh, ah. Too much work. Too much work for nothing. I mean, a lot. Falling in lava for them is like me falling in water. It, it doesn't really do anything. If anything, it helps me. I'm lost. I am definitely lost. Wait. No. I think I'm getting more lost as I go. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm definitely lost. I'm going to stop recording and hopefully make my way back to the nether portal. See you in the next episode. Oh. Maybe I'll be getting attacked by some guests in the next episode. So I hope you liked me getting lost in the nether. And hopefully I'll get back, and please subscribe if you want to see more. See ya.